Okay, right. So let's go to the next question. Now, this is more easy as well. So let's say, uh, what is the equation of a cycle with a center P? So this is cycle is going to have a center at P. Okay, so let's assume a cycle. S center P and the radius equal to the distance from P to the origin. Means, look, they say the radius is going to be from P to the origin. So this is the radius. So what that means, if I had to draw a cycle, look, I can draw something like this. This is a roughly drawing, roughly sketch, something like this. That should be our, our cycle. You see what I'm saying? So now, this P is going to be our center. It's not me who see it. That's a question I always say. What is the question of a cycle with a center P? I mean, this P is going to be a center of a cycle. So for that case now, my center is going to be X at P and Y at P. That's going to be my center of a cycle. X at P. And y p. So let's see how we're gonna get the center of a cycle. And also we need radius of a cycle. So we say okay. So first of all, <coughs> excuse me. What is my p? P is the intersection of parabola and straight line. Look this point p. This point p the intersection of parabola and straight line. So for me to get center of a cycle, I need to equate these two equations. Means they linear and parabola. So first of all, let me write the equation of a cycle. Question of a cycle always say x minus a square plus y minus b square equal to radius square but i don't want you to memorize this a and b this is a center of a cycle so whereby a and b are center of a cycle so for this case now for a and b so but y means x at p and y at p those are my center of a cycle so i'm going to make you understand like clearly you don't memorize this is x minus what is my center x means point p is my center so i'm going to say x at point p not much though, you can leave A and B is not a problem, but I want to show you me how to understand this stuff, man. So it's a square plus y minus y and p. That's my center. X and p, y and p. Square. What is my radius? Radius from O to P, from P to origin. That's how they say the radius equal to this from P to O. So say O P but what? Square. So what I need to get? I need to get X and P and Y and P and O P done. You got what I'm saying? So first of all, I have to get a point. X at P and Y at P means point P. But what is point P? Point P is the intersection of straight line and parabola. But I will know mathematical whenever two equations intersect. When the two equations intersect, you can equate them or you can substitute them. Okay, so I got this and this one. See what I'm saying? That's my F of X means my uh, F of X, straight line, and this is my parabola. So let's equate them. So say at point P, at P, also at point Q. Because this is a point of intersection P and Q, this is a point of intersection of parabola and straight line. So, meaning the two graphs are equal because they intersect. So, it's okay. So, means you say fx must be equal to g of x. Or g of x must be equal to f, f x, and vice versa. Whichever you can say, the same thing doesn't make any difference. So, it's okay. So, for that case now, what is our fx? We, give it, we have fx, we defined it before, which is in here negative a half, negative a half x plus power two equal g of x my g of x is negative a half x squared okay plus three x and then minus two and a half which is power two g of half let's simplify now let's get a value here easy man <coughs> excuse me so i may take everything to the left if i want let me take everything to the left or why don't you just make everything linear because i don't want to work but okay another thing is quickly right let me write this is uh, so I don't want uh, two and a half. So let me say, okay, two and a half, what does that mean? Two times two, four, four plus one, four plus one equals five over two. So I'll say five over two. Let me say five over two. I think that's going to be a good way of writing it. Five over two. So I don't want to have a fraction, so let me make it linear. So I'll look, okay, what is it? Two, two. So I'm going to multiply two through up. So I'm going to multiply by two here, multiply by two, multiply by two, multiply by two, and then multiply by two, because I want to get rid of denominator. So these and this cancel, so I'm going to be left with negative x, and this and this cancel, I'm going to be left with um, plus 5, equal to this and this cancel, I'm going to be left with negative what? a half, <coughs> negative a half, negative a half, excuse me, 2 to cancel, so I'm going to be left with just x squared, excuse me, um, multiply here, I'm going to be left with x squared, but it's negative here, yes, negative, cause yes, negative, 
Oh, now we say this is going to be plus 6x and this is going to be minus 5. So let's put everything together on one side. So take everything to the left. So this negative x squared come here is going to be x squared. And this 6x come to the back is going to be negative x. Minus 6 is going to be negative 7x. And this negative 5 come over. So it's going to be 5 plus 5 equal to 10 equal to 0. So we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. So okay, so we can factorize this, man. Easy. So let's factorize is equal to zero. How do I get x squared? Means I have to have x and x. x and x, x squared. Now we think, okay, how am I going to get 10? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So 10, of course, when we get 10, of course, I have to have a 2 and 5. It has to be 5 and 2. 5 and 2, right? So this is going to give me 10. And it has to be for either it has to be positive, positive, but if it's positive, positive, it's going to be problem. You know what I'm saying? Because positive, positive is going to give me a positive 7, but I don't need positive 7. So I'm going to say this has to be negative and negative. So that you multiply negative 5 times negative 2 equal to positive 10. But when you add these two, it's going to give me negative 7. So negative negative is going to wait. Number one. So we got k's now. So we say, okay. So either x minus 5 equal to 0 or this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 x minus 2 equal to 0, so x equal to 5, or x equal to 2, so these are point of intersection, so I'm saying point of intersection, so when you say x5 and x2, but just, but let's think critical, man, <laughs> so point of intersection, we have a p and q, which is going to be 2, of course, this is going to be 2, look here, man, in this x and p is going to be equal to 2, so just by looking at this one, it's going to be x and p, and look here, at Q because it's a point of intersection. Q equals 5. So let's just say this is X at Q. So I want to get Y at Q and Y at P. But Y at Q is obvious, man. It's 0. So point Q, I got everything. X equal to 5 and Y equal to 0. But I don't, my intention is not to get that point, to get this one here. See what I'm saying? So X at P equal to 0. But if I got X at P, I can substitute in any of these two equations, either parabola. Or straight line. You know why? Because this x at p lies in both two lines. Straight line or parabola. Let me put in the straight line because straight line is more easy. The straight line. What is a straight line? Uh, 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 this one. So it's okay. So here y, but it's going to be y p equal to negative a half. Negative a half. What is the x? For this case, x equal to 2. And then plus... 2. So let's simplify now, man. So it's okay. So this same is a negative. So this will be 2 over 2 plus 5 over 2. So this same is a, okay, base are the same over 2, then negative 2 plus 5 equal to 3. Positive. So now my y at p equal to 3 over 2, or 1.5, 1 and a half, 1 and a half, or 1.5, 1 and a half. So okay, so print p. <laughs> When P also got it also, so say when P also, what is my X at P? My X at P, X equal to 2, and Y at P equal to 3 over 2, 1 and a half, or 1 and a half. X equal to 2, or 1 and a half, or so okay, so it's when P equal to 2, and then 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. So I got my print P. So what is P? P is the sine of a cycle. So sine of a cycle is 2, so I can write down top P. So I want to say my sine of a cycle center. Of a cycle which is at p is 2 and 3 over 2. So I got my center of a cycle. So what do I need now in the question of cycle? So my center got this and this I got it. So I need to get it all p. This is all p. So I'm going to use this as formula for me to get this as all p. If the distance from the distance from from here to here. So I can use this as formula. See what I'm saying? Let me use the distance formula. So I'm going to raise here, guys, man. I don't know if anybody can see that. So I'm going to use this as formula. Okay, this is formula. Excuse me, quick, let's go quick. This is formula. Or P, that's our center. That's a drive in the cycle. Okay, so I think we can get here. Let me try to divide this part here. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Just a minute. Okay. So what if this is all P? So this is formula, say, uh, this is formula, always say, this is. Radius equal to x2 minus x1 square 
plus y2 minus y1 squared. But I, like I said all the time, bro, I don't want you to memorize. I want you to get, I want you to understand like what's happening. What I say, what I have to say. Okay, so for me, in my case, I'm going to say I know my radius. My radius is PO. So I'll say is OP or PO. OP or PO equal to, okay, square root. So I'm going to say x at p minus x at the origin. So I'm saying x at p. I don't say x1 x2, minus x2. It's not going to make sense to me. x at p minus x at the origin. Square plus y at p. So I'm going to raise here a little. Excuse me. Okay, so I'll say y at p minus y at origin square. So we can plug it in. So all p equal to square root. I got x at p. What is my x at p? 2. So I'll say here 2 minus x at origin is 0 because anything at origin is 0, 0 plus. Y at P, what is my Y at P? 3 over 2. Minus Y at the origin is 0. Square. So our same thing, our radius must equal to 2 minus 0, 2, 2 square equal to 4 plus. 3 over 2 minus 0, 3 over 2. Square is going to be 9 over 4. So, okay, so this is the same as say, excuse me, the same as say 4 plus. 4 plus, okay, how many, uh, 4 in 9, okay, let's simplify, okay, so let's just do this, there's a lot of ways you can do this equation, so this is how many, 4 in 9, yeah, 2 left with 1 over 4, square root of OP equal, okay, this is going to be 6, 1 over 4, 6, 1 over 4, and then you can say, this same say, okay, so 4 times, 4 times 6, 24 plus 1, 25, over 4 square root, and then our OP equal to, you can square root separately, it's acceptable mathematical, 25 over square root of 4, you can separate, top one and denominator, square root, you can separate square root, it's acceptable, and they say this equal to, square root of 25 equal to 5, and square root of 4 equal to 2, so our radius of a cycle is 5 over 2, or 2 and a half, how many between 5, there are 2, we left with 1 over 2, so that's a radius of a cycle, unit, so now we can get a question of a cycle. <laughs> so I'm saying, what is the question of a cycle? This one right here. So let's get it now. X is X minus my XP and no my XP. What is my XP? <laughs> 2 squared plus Y is Y. What is my YP? My YP 3 over 2 or 2 and a half. 3 over 2 or 2 and a half. Okay, what is my radius? 5 over 2, but radius, OP square, OP square. So let's say, say, okay, what is my OP square? <coughs> so my OP is 5 over 2, but square to the power of 4. So it's okay. So finally, done, the equation is done. Okay, finally, we're going to say, okay, which pen should I use now? Let me use this white pen, man, to show them, like, you know, I'm done. So X minus 2 square plus Y minus 3 over 2 square plus equal equal to 5 square equal to 25 2 square equal to 4 so done already so this is a question of a cycle if you have for, if you if you feel like all you think like this video was helpful please man don't forget to leave a comment subscribe and share with other people and it's better part of man and you know if guys man come on man you would have to ask question man i mean you how are you gonna be learning if you don't ask questions if you leave a comment Ask and share. You can follow me on Toronto Battle Academy. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you can ask me a question. Follow my Twitter page, Instagram. I'm here just for you guys, man. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. So, let's go. I appreciate it, man. It's in Toronto Battle Academy, man. So, with the comments, share with other people. You know what I'm saying? So, because we share other people, maybe somebody's going to be there. Maybe stuck. You want to get the shortest method and, you know, ways that they can get to learn and understand. So, leave a comments. Subscribe and share with other people you see what i'm saying you have a question please ask me the questions man you guys you don't ask me the question if you feel like it's helpful see there hey man this video was ta -ta 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 -ta. thanks a lot of appreciate man this is trying to battle academy much love you